Keith Gregg hasn't paid an electricity bill for more than a year. It's a very good feeling. Having installed a battery for his home solar system. After a long time of just having the solar power during the day, I simply decided it was a good idea to have solar power at night as well. After the recent threat of blackouts, the Gold Coast retiree says it's reassuring to know he wouldn't be left in the dark. We had a power cut. My place had all its lights on. I could still watch television. No problems. What surprised me was that I didn't get people pouring in from the other side of the street. The state government's investing hundreds of millions of dollars to increase solar storage across the entire grid. We're building the largest ever battery in Queensland's history. We'll put 12 utility scale batteries across the state, taking our total to 19 of those publicly owned assets. But the government's refusing to offer incentives for individual households to install their own batteries. The minister says battery costs have risen 30% in the past month and argues any rebates will only flow straight into the pockets of retailers. Victoria, South Australia and the ACT all offer rebates. The benefits being offered to ACT households are quite generous and that we've seen very significant uptake. These are all really designed to help people overcome that main problem for a lot of households, which is the initial upfront cost. But South Australia is pulling the plug, saying its battery incentive scheme failed to fire. We make no apologies about withdrawing funding for programs that aren't working and not being taken up and instead reinvest in making sure that South Australians own and operate their own generator, operating for the benefit of the economy generally. Experts insist batteries will become more viable. If retail electricity prices go up in the coming months in response to the current energy crisis, then the, then the economics of installing a battery in addition to rooftop solar can only improve. Queensland's 12 new batteries are expected to be operational sometime next year. Alex Brewster, ABC News.